There are very few places in Toronto that slow you down. And the waterfront, I believe, is one of those places. You just get captured by the beauty of the landscape, and certainly of this building. Architecture affects the lives of people directly. It comes with an extraordinary responsibility. I think one needs to take that responsibility very seriously. It's the quality of life it gives to its inhabitants. When people are looking for homes, they're always looking for a home that speaks to who they are. Great Gulf is known to bring that customization to their homeowners. Such an important building for the city, for Waterfront Toronto's East Bayfront area, and for Great Gulf. Mont is the first condominium development in the East Bayfront. It's close to downtown, it's close to the waterfront, it's at the center of it all. Each design discipline brings their own uh, amazing energy and ideas from around the world. Uh, they also work on different kinds of projects, not just residential projects. So the experience of someone like Safdi, who's working on art galleries and museums uh, around the world, bringing that kind of understanding of architecture. I've been doing housing for more than 40 years, and. Basically, a city is made up of uh, hundreds of apartment buildings, and there's a kind of a formula. I wanted to go a step further. The tower is made up of clear glass and white glass. You get a very sculptural, reflective pattern that goes all the way up. I wanted each space where you can walk out, put a couple of chairs, have a cup of coffee, look at the lake, and then when you come down to the street that you'd feel you're in the city, you're facing a park, there's cafes and shops and restaurants. There's a kind of ambiance that the building tries to bring out. Waterfront Toronto has really gone to great lengths to make this kind of community, to really make sure the public realm, the parks, the open spaces, the boulevards, that these buildings all connect to uh, are part of a, a much larger vision of what waterfront living can be like. We're also uh, trying to make it very sustainable. The buildings will be LEED gold. LEED is leadership in energy and environmental design. It's new. It is a new community. All levels of government are spending a huge amount on infrastructure. They're putting in what will be the fastest, most incredible broadband network down there to service all the buildings. Streetcar lines will be extended across Queensky Boulevard. Queensky Boulevard itself will be transformed into a really grand boulevard. And what makes this building so special is the fact that, you know, it is down by the waterfront with bicycle path systems, walking trails, restaurants, and a whole new level of energy and spirit that we've never really embraced with the Toronto waterfront before. beginning was to have the building feel like it was sitting in the park, that the park was the front door, and I think that the design very much accomplishes that. Anytime we're trying to bring the outdoors in, palettes are always important. When you think of the outdoors, you always think of sunlight, you think of green, you think of lightness in their materials. We're bringing in woods and stones, all of which are marrying together. But there is a private space, and the private space is quite significant as well, and that's on the top of the building. A fabulous 75-foot length pool with a negative edge, which is, as you know, very dramatic. It just looks like magic with the water disappearing. The whole philosophy behind it is that 10 years from now, you still feel the vitality, the freshness, because nature is timeless. Our homeowners really do understand design. They come to expect it. And it's a very competitive marketplace in Toronto. There are many projects. And so why this location? Why Great Golf? When people look at the body of the work, the portfolio of buildings that we've worked on. Design does matter. It is part of the Great Golf brand.